Welcome and thanks for joining me on this short web demonstration. Here we're going to take a look at how a tool such as Embarcadero Change Manager can really complement DB Artisan. Now DB Artisan is our widely used and highly respected cross-platform database management tool and enables database administrators to perform a huge range of different tasks with the database. Change Manager really adds an extra element to that by giving them greater control and management over the changes that are taking place. So we're going to try and show that via a simple demonstration. Here we are inside DB Artisan. On the left hand side of the screen you can see the standard explorer window which shows all the different data sources that we've configured and set up. And of course, like other Embarcadero tools, DB Artisan is very much a multi-platform capable tool. Now DB Artisan is a very comprehensive tool which really delivers a whole set of different capabilities covering things such as storage management, security management, looking at the schemas and even some performance information around the database itself. For the purposes of our demonstration today we're just going to take a look at how we can use DB Artisan to make changes to the schema. So I'm going to go ahead and expand out the schema option and there we can see a whole set of different pieces of information that we're able to look at and work with and I'm just going to go ahead and click on the tables view and that's going to go back to the database retrieve the list of tables and then filter them through for us and here on the right hand side now we can see all of the different tables that are available inside this database what I'm going to do is just go ahead and make a simple change to one of the tables here so I'm going to stick with the GIM database and here it's highlighted the client uh, table so I'm just going to double click and go into that within DB Autosan here we can see the different columns that are available to us. Now what I want to do here for this task is to actually go ahead and add an additional column with maybe some additional client information. But in order to get the most control and manageability in terms of performing that action, what I'm going to do is look at how I can bring in Change Manager and actually use some of its capabilities to work alongside DB Artisan. So before going ahead and actually making any change here inside DB Artisan, what I'm going to do is actually change the view and go into Change Manager. Now Change Manager has really three main areas of focus. It's able to look at the actual configuration of the database and this covers things like different parameter settings. It's able to look at the actual data contents of the database itself and do comparisons across databases. And finally it's also able to look at the schema contents of the databases and that's really what's going to be relevant to us today. So before making my change inside DB Artisan, what I'm going to do in Change Manager is actually bring up a schema archive job. And what Schema Archive allows me to do is take a snapshot of the state of the schema at this point in time. So I'm going to do that to give me a base point to work from before I apply my changes in DB Artisan. So let's just go ahead and start this job running. OK, that job's completed successfully. So what it's done is taking that snapshot of all the information within the schema and now all I need to do is save that away. Having done that, I now have a safe base point to work from. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to DB Artisan. So here in DB Artisan, I'm now just going to go ahead and add an additional column. And this won't be very exciting. I think we'll just call this Client New Information. And I'm just going to change the data type to maybe something like a char field. Probably want to increase the size there. So maybe 100. That's all I want to do, so I'm going to go ahead and execute this, which I do by selecting the Alter command. We're now previewing the code that's going to be executed, and in this case I'm just going to go ahead and hit the Execute button, which will apply that change to that table. And on the left here, if I just expand that name column, we can see we now have a new column has been added into our table called Client New Information, and it's got that char 100 as we, are, as we specified. And I can then exit out of this view in DB Artisan. Now what we can see next really is how Change Manager can really fit into this cycle where database administrators are making changes to the schema within a database. We're going to go ahead and switch back into Change Manager. Now if you recall, before we made that change inside DB Artisan, we actually took a snapshot of the state of the schema using Change Manager. So what I'm now going to do is actually run a comparison job. And I do that by going over here selecting my schema comparison job and let's take a quick look at what we have here. So here what I've configured in this particular job is to do a comparison which is going to look at the most recent snapshot that we've taken of the database so in this case that's going to be the one that we took just before making the change in DB Autosan 
and it's going to compare that to the current state of the live database. Now, I'm not going to go through all the options in great detail in this particular demonstration, but you have a great deal of control within Change Manager, enabling you to really focus on the areas that you're particularly interested in. So here, what I'm making sure is ticked is that I'm going to be looking at the tables within our GIM objects. We can also specify different notification options. For example, we might want to be sent an email notification when the job completes and we can even do things like generate reports and have those attached to the email and automatically sent to us. But in this particular case, I'm just going to go ahead and run the job. So we can now see that job is completed and in the centre of the screen there it's telling us that the compare task is completed, zero errors and it's giving us an overall comparison index there of a 93% match. So there are some differences between that snapshot and the current live database which is to be expected considering we did actually go ahead and make a change using DB Artisan. There are a few options I could select here. I could go ahead and ask to view a report on the comparison that was done. I could even export the results out into things such as standard comma separated files, PDF documents and a range of others as well. So I'm able to really gather and track the information from these comparisons. What I'm going to do is just scroll along the screen and see a couple of other options appear here. Now if what I was interested in was actually bringing the live database back into sync with the snapshot we took, I could just go ahead and generate a sync script at this point in time. However, if I want to look at things in more detail, I might want to click on the option to show the individual results. And here I can now expand out the database comparison that I've run, and we can just have a quick look at these things here. And what we can see is that the only difference is in that GIM client table, which makes sense because that's the one that we actually changed. Now I've expanded out the tree view and we can see that most of the things that we were looking at are actually still a match, which isn't surprising as all we changed was that one item on the tables. So if we scroll down here we should be able to see that there is the GIM client. We've identified that this doesn't match and we can then see script that's been generated below which we could go ahead and execute to bring these back into sync. On the right hand side you can see that's a whole set of different filters that we can apply and these can be very useful to really focus our attention on the information that's relevant. For example one obvious thing to do here would be to click off the tick box called match which means that we're only going to see the things which are actually different. Now as I mentioned if I did actually want to bring these things back in sync I could go ahead and execute that script and do that so if the change that was made was a mistake or had some unforeseen consequence we could actually easily roll it back again. There are also some additional options here, so we could go ahead and look at the differences. And that brings up our little comparison window here, and we can very easily see the difference here is we've added in the client new information. And that's basically a change that as a database administrator I wanted to make in this case. So Change Manager really has allowed me to confirm that the change has taken place, and only that one change which I wanted to make has actually taken place. So I'm just now going to close that window down. The final thing I'm going to do here is just go ahead and save the result set from that job execution. One of the really nice things that Change Manager does provide here is the ability for us to build up a history of how changes have taken place to the database over a period of time. So if we look at the history tab here, you can see that we've actually executed this schema comparison job several times over a number of different dates and times. And if I wanted to, I'd actually go through and compare the live database against any of these previous snapshots. So it gives me a great deal of insight, control and management as to when changes have been made to the database. And of course, at any of these snapshot points, I could actually execute a rollback as well to take the status of the live database back to the status of that snapshot. So some really powerful capabilities in here. For this short demonstration, that's really all I wanted to show. So I'm just going to switch back to a summary slide here. Now we really only touched on the surface of the features within Change Manager there, but I hope even from that simple demonstration you can see how it's a really powerful and complementary tool for anyone who's involved in managing database systems. And particularly it makes an ideal companion to a product such as DB Artisan, enable you to build up a history and control snapshots of changes that have been made to the database. Thanks very much for watching, and as you'd expect, there's lots more information available on our website.